<laughs> welcome to the stream. Hello. Happy Tuesday. Uh, hello. Welcome. We're back. I uh, hope you had a good weekend. Let me fix the camera. Dude, those Nicky Boom jams. <laughs> game's got such good music. That was a seven and a half minute music loop for Nicky Boom. What? And you know what's funny? Seven and a half minute music loop for stage one of Nicky Boom. You would only get about one tenth of the way through the stage at the time it loops. Oh man, what a game, what a game. Welcome everybody, how's it going? Let me say hello. Hello everybody. Hello everybody. <laughs> hello Dana, Chris Atlas, welcome. Tango Bunny, welcome. Dracados, welcome. Excellent Skeleton Pyramid, you love to see it. Schubert, welcome. Space Hovercopter, welcome. Joker Sage, welcome. Uh, Digital Basic, welcome. Booster, welcome. Headroom Yoda, welcome. Cyber Navjack, welcome. Dot Level, welcome. Seacall and Backslash, welcome. Uh, the Wolves, thank you very much for the 28 month resub. Welcome, welcome. Zetsu Bera. Uh, Chat in Business, welcome. Kreelosh, welcome. Dieter Lavos, Duckenmire, Muembla, Talifmore, Hey, Tomato, I'm sure. Hello, everybody. Uh, we're going to play Sir Fred. <laughs> Just cut to the chase. Just cut to the chase. There he is. <laughs> We're gonna play Sir Fred, the legend. Um Does anything even need to be said? <laughs> I think I can't stop laughing when I look at it. It's so good. Oh my god. Sir Fred. Oh, Dieter Lavos. Beautiful. Thank you for 500 bits. Thank you for the cheer. <laughs> Thank you for the bits. Oh yes, Return to Atlantis was great. I'm so happy you played that. It was a wonderful game. Uh, we're probably going to start another long-form Amiga video game tomorrow, is the plan. But just today. Sir Fred. <laughs> Dude, I can't, I can't not laugh. I'm sorry. It's just so good. It's just so good. Yo, Sizzle Dog, welcome. Hello, my demon, welcome. What is Sir Fred, you ask? That. <laughs> PMC trilogy, Moosey Faye. <laughs> oh my god. Dino, please welcome. Surely this game's gonna be incredible. Uh, it's an Amiga side scrolling action, maybe platformer game that no one's ever heard of, which means it's probably terrible, which means it's probably very good. <laughs> you see, I'm a, just a bundle of contradictions. Um, I, I'm trying to think of the words to explain. Or describe Sir Fred the Legend. <laughs> I, 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 what's happening? A man in chainmail with a red tunic and like a wooden board shield and an arm twice as long as his torso wielding a magic lightning sword is going to strike down. A little goblin with an axe? Is that a dragon back there? Is this a princess that he's saving? Is that a picture of a princess? Is he like a small man? Is he just wearing over... Is he a child wearing oversized clothes? Is anatomy even real? Why is like the the top of his scabbard covered? He couldn't sheathe his sword. It's... It's Sir Fred. He's a legend. <laughs> neck welcome lobster wing welcome welcome in everybody welcome uh, i'm pretty excited to play this you know me i love my janky action platformers especially if they come from europe it's just a tremendous pleasure to play them uh one platform i've yet to really dive deep into i've played a lot of nes games a lot of super nintendo games i haven't really dove headfirst into amiga platformers or Amiga action games, and this is part of my journey down that road. We're digging deep, and we're going to play some Sir Fred. Published by Ubisoft, this is a French-developed game. 
It wasn't internally made at Ubisoft. I don't believe it was somebody else. Ubisoft just published it. It's just, it's just, it's just baffling. <laughs> what is that? Let's turn the box over. Sir Fred, the legend. <laughs> I can barely read this. Let's in biggin. Hear ye, hear ye, brave souls, listen to the legend of Sir Fred, noble and brave knight who lived in the Middle Ages. Graced with strength and bravery, he won the hearts of a beautiful damsel, but in so doing, he also brought on the wrath of the evil dwarf, Ultimar. Transformed into a vulnerable gnome, Fred now has but one goal, to break Ultimar's spell in order to regain his human form. His quest will be long and riddled with pitfalls, for the friends of Ultimor are as numerous as cruel. Faced with magicians, spiders, and other flying and crawling monsters, will Sir Fred, in spite of his reduced stature, be able to regain the prestige that built his legend? <laughs> okay, so that explains quite a bit, actually. He's a normal-sized person that got gnomified, and so... His body shrank, but like the armor that he's wearing is still normal human size. That's why it's all baggy. He looks like a little child. <laughs> oh, MP83, welcome. Shaboy J, welcome. Sorry if I missed anybody. Welcome. He left empty. But yeah, this was released for the Amiga and the Atari ST. I believe the Atari ST version came first. I'll, we'll be playing the Amiga one. I don't, yeah, like MP says, I don't believe there's any differences between the two, but I didn't really look too far into it. Oh, look at these screenshots. Beautiful pixel art there in the top right. You can kind of see, get a sense for what's happening. It'll kind of... A lot of green. A lot of muddled greens. <laughs> this is a very low resolution scan of the box art. So I can't really make out too much, but it looks like we're fighting snakes and walking to the right and fighting goblins and walking upstairs and Sir Fred, he's a legend. Looks quite beautiful. <laughs> this cover art though, this cover art. <laughs> Honestly. This cover art is what sold me on the game. Like, I have no idea what the game's like. I booted it up, played it for two seconds. Like, okay, it works. That's all I need to know. Just looking at the cover art sold me on it. <laughs> that's, how, that's how I pick my games. I look at pictures of box art. and like, yep, that's a winner. That's a winner. That's all I need to know. We're, t we're doing it. We're playing it. <laughs> and so here we are. Um... We have a manual, so let's read the manual. Let's read the legend of Sir Fred the Legend. Bing. Oh, that's handcrafted artisanal cover art there. <laughs> Sir Fred the Legend. Background. It's important to get the lore behind Sir Fred and the context for his quest. It's very important, otherwise the adventure is not the same. Our hero, Sir Fred, is a noble and valiant knight who, like any self-respecting hero, is in love with a beautiful damsel to whom he has sworn everlasting fidelity. But let's speak about her. Of course she's beautiful. Very beautiful. <laughs> That's why Sir Fred's in love with her. Okay, maybe we didn't need to read the manual. <laughs> He's passionately in love with her. He accompanies her in the sunny fields and shady forests for long hours, holding her hand. <laughs> oh my god. They spend hours holding hands. How romantic. Uh, during these marvelous moments, they could have kissed each other with passion before the end and had innumerable children at the end. Of the film, of course. Wait, what? But they hadn't reckoned with the evil Ultimor, an ugly dwarf, with magical powers who didn't look too kindly on this romantic affair. The infamous dwarf, 
He didn't flinch at any evil doings. Therefore, he decided to use his powers against Sir Fred. Jealous of his robust constitution, his success with the ladies, and above all, his human size. And in two winks of an eye, less than three minutes, he transforms our superb hero into an ugly half-pint who makes our beauty flee in disgust. Somewhat horrified by the new appearance of her Prince Charming, she abandons Sir Fred in the sunny field and goes off to drown her sorrow in the arms of another gallant knight. Sir Fred, after protesting to her to no avail, recovers himself, gets over his sorrow, and on his tiny feet takes the decision of his life to defeat the spell of the abominable Ultimore and to win back his bell. To succeed, he'll have to recover his physical form and therefore find the Dwarf Sorcerer in order to dispel the effects of the evil curse. <laughs> this is great. Uh, your quest, therefore, consists of taking in hand the young man's destiny, guiding his every move and his actions. Your joystick will replace his arms and legs. The firing button of the joystick is knives and two-edged sword. You'll have to avoid numerous dangers lying in wait for you. Cross the wood, find the entrance to the dwarf cemetery, and the grotto of the little people. Magician spiders, flying, or climbing monsters, as well as the castle guards, will make life difficult for you. And watch out for the numerous traps awaiting you, or will leave you no longer in the land of the living. <laughs> what? You can tell this is like a just a rough translation. This is this is this is quite charming. Playing Sir Fred, the levels. The game's composed of several settings, for example, the forest, the dwarf grotto, etc. Each setting is composed in turn of several levels. For example, the forest includes two woods and a cemetery. If you're killed, you won't be in the game at the beginning, but rather at the first level of the area in which you're moving around. When you have managed to pass all the levels in the same area, a picture of Sir Fred will appear. So this seems to me like there's infinite continues, which is pretty slick, pretty good. Uh, Sir Fred moves from right to left and from left to right. When there are staircases, you can also move Sir Fred up and down. Okay, boring. You can make Sir Fred move around on the three horizontal levels. The levels are superimposed giving an impression of depth. What? When Sir Fred moves around on the highest level, this means he's in the background. If he appears on the lowest level, he's in the foreground. If he's on the middle level, he moves around in the middle of the screen. This will make more sense when you play it. Like the two seconds I played, I kind of caught on to the gimmick. But we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. <laughs> it's kind of, kind of Tango, but not really. Alana Ray, welcome. <laughs> you know, Sir Fred. <sighs> At each level, you'll come across numerous enemies or obstacles. Avoid them by changing levels. So yeah, there's like multiple different planes you can travel on. You shift between planes. It's 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 interesting. I can pick stuff up. There's keys, passages to other levels. To finish a level, you must find a key. They are positioned on the ground or hidden on an enemy. You therefore have to kill this enemy. Okay. Energy is represented by apples, of course. When you do not jump correctly or are touched by an enemy or by firing, your energy is reduced. This reduction is symbolized by a bitten apple. <laughs> <laughs> To piece it together, you can pick up the apples that you'll find from time to time as you progress through the level. You can also make the apple whole again by using a potion, Red Flask. You only have three apples at a time. Your weapons consist of a double-edged sword and some daggers. Double-edged swords are more powerful than the daggers. Uh, press the fire button to throw a dagger. Hold the fire button and move the joystick to use your sword. Some pretty basic controls here. Uh, there's magic stars. If you blow up the magic stars, it kills all enemies on screen. Magic potions. 
You can have one potion at a time. There's three different colors. Now, when you have the brown flask, you can press F1 to become invincible. When you have the red potion, you can press F3 to heal your apples. When you have the blue potion, you can use the teletransporters. What? These teletransporters are in fact lifts, enabling you to change levels. This potion is automatically used if you try to take a lift. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we go F1 and F3. See, this is why we read the manual as well, because this is a single button joystick game on the Amiga. However, you gotta press buttons on your keyboard to drink your potions. And so otherwise we'd just be striking wildly at every button on the keyboard trying to figure out what the heck. And now we know. There's magic bags, it contains potions or apples. Here's the enemies. <laughs> imps, dwarves, magicians, karateka dwarves, karateka imps, snakes, and crows. <laughs> what? <laughs> and many other enemies, each more monstrous than the last. It's up to you to discover them. We can press P to pause. Oh, F3 enables you to validate the red potion. There's my favorite word, validate. We can validate potions. Goonie, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> is this a prequel to the Sir Fred the Man? Maybe. Maybe it is. I know this is also a Sir Fred for the Spectrum which is totally different from this, believe it or not. Multiple people came up with an idea to name their game Sir Fred, <laughs> which makes sense. It's kind of funny. Maybe we'll play the Spectrum game as well, but not today, not today. We got our hands full, I'm sure. Uh, here's the different controls. You move the joystick to do some things. Different things happen if you hold the fire button down or not. Bada boom, bada boom. Sir Fred. There's no pictures, no pictures in the manual. There's no pretty pictures to look at. Let's look at this pretty picture again. <laughs> I can't get over it. <laughs> okay, this welcome. Yeah, this is an Amiga game. Also released for Atari ST. We'll be, we'll be playing the Amiga version. I, that's all I have to say. Let's play it. Let's play it. Whew, Sir Fred, the legend. Gear Strike, welcome. Retro Gaming Denmark, welcome. I love that cover art. <laughs> Quite beautiful. <laughs> yeah, this is a different game from the Specky Sir Fred. Totally different. Completely unrelated. This is good. Dude! <laughs> 
this music kind of rocks. That sounds like the Jill of the Jungle yeah sample. I know it's not, but it, it sounds like it. This is awesome. This is like the coolest game I think I've ever played and I haven't even touched my controller yet. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at this scene. A pile of corpses which also laugh at people. I thought they were corpses. No, they're just a pile of bodies just hanging out. The mystical castle in the background, the red clouds, contrasting the green scenery in the front. I guess we have to play the game. Uh, let's start the timer. I haven't pressed any buttons yet, so let's 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 press the fire button. There's a second song. Okay, I'm pressing fire. <laughs> okay, Sir Fred. And we are Sir Fred the Legend. Here he is. goodness so we hold the fire button down to throw daggers while holding it I can press left or right to swing my sword you can aim the daggers okay Let's see if I press down or up you can see there's like three different planes you can walk on boing boing Dude, look at his animations. <laughs> this is really good. Uh, yeah, we can jump like that. Gotta press diagonal to jump. Just pressing up doesn't jump, you have to go diagonal. Oh, there's a snake! Hold fire and press down, we can duck. Oh, there's combat rolls! Whoa! Oh my god! Alright. Cool music. Okay, there's an evil, evil dwarf. Or is that a gnome? Let's try and stab him. Dude! Mm. Mm. <laughs> Look at the background! Whoa! Okay, that's the magic star. What the, the, dude, there's an evil bird! I don't know what the deal is with the little magic star. Okay, let's get the dagger. Get the bag of money. Oh, that's a potion. Dude, this is hard. Uh, is that a healing potion? It is. Okay, we're healed. I love the UI on the bottom. So the knives are our daggers. Yeah, I guess we're spending daggers to throw our projectile. I don't know what the little flashy star is. The manual said if we attack this magic stars, then it destroys all enemies on screen. 
but I didn't seem to do anything last time. The apples are our health, candles the candle, the bread's the bread, the jug is the jug. Whoa! Dude, how do you avoid this? Dude, this is awesome. Oh my god, he just owned me. Okay, I have the key. I guess we gotta find where he used the key at. I go up here maybe oh! we had to use the key to unlock the grove of trees and the path through it interesting okay boom, 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 boom. oh my god kill him I feel like there's probably good- Whoa! Okay. There's probably goodies back here. What is happening? What's he- What's hitting me? Get him. <laughs> this is a ridiculous video game. I'm just taking- Oh, there's a guy spinning a death ball back there. Okay. I shouldn't be fighting behind the, the the foreground. Oh, the graveyard! Apple. <gasps> Bottle. Uh, do we have to do some platforming here? This is, this is awesome. Alright, we got the keys. Now we can go into the graveyard. Oh, the bird! Let's go into the graveyard. Well, this seems like the sort of game, since there's no score, doesn't really seem to be any benefit to killing enemies whatsoever. They don't drop items as far as I can tell. Ghostly ghouls. We're in the graveyard. It seems like we just kind of want to avoid enemies and move and complete our quest and try to be non- What the? Dude, is that a headless pirate peg leg gnome? Zombie wielding a hatchet? Dude, this game is sick. Ah, uh, he's dead. Got more daggers. I'm taking damage if I do that. Okay, don't do that. I was trying to jump on top of the grave to see if I can pick up those, like, flowers or berries, but if you jump into something, he bonks. <laughs> or if that happens, he bonks. Okay, I'm behind these guys. Look at the face on the grave. Do 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 do. Boop boop 
boop, boop, boop. Oh my goodness. What? Invincible. Oh, there's a magic sack up there. Oh my goodness, is that a demon? What is going on? There's too much happening. <laughs> Kill it! This is insane! Okay, I'm almost dead, so we gotta be careful here, we gotta hurry. Died. Back to the start of the game. Let's try again. Do it better this time. So you get one life to finish the stage. Or rather, you have infinite lives. But every time you die, you go back to the very start of the stage. Okay, okay. Got it. Free apple. This game is... <laughs> This game's really cool. It's just so comical. <laughs> Everything is so lively. All the animations are so good. Everything's just so goofy. <laughs> I haven't been paying attention to the dagger situation down there, so I have no idea. It seems like we have a limited number of throwing daggers. And each dagger stabbed onto the desk there represents some amount? It doesn't really seem to be a problem at all. Whoa, dude! Okay, you never know where these attacks are coming from. But the whole three different layered planes, you just, you just don't... Okay, I'm safe. He chucked a little pebble at me. Oh my goodness. Give me the apple! Okay, there's a potion up there. Ouch! <laughs> Dude, this platforming. Alright, we, we gotta get that potion. I don't know what color these potions are, but we have a potion of, of that color now. It seems, yeah, it definitely seems to be more about trying to avoid enemies rather than confronting them. Okay, it's a potion of invincibility. Oh my goodness, kill him! Yes, got him. <laughs> okay, we can't pick up any more daggers. We're maxed out. Four is the maximum dagger. Dude, the headless gnome. What's this noise? Let's go like this. Uh, drink the potion. Just go up. Well, I can't, I can't, apparently I can't open the sack because I'm invincible. I probably have to kill the tongue demon. What the heck? 
I'm too strong to pick up items. Oh my goodness, there's a thousand of them. All right, failed again. <laughs> this game might be impossible. Do, 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 do. So I need to learn how to not get owned by literally everything. <laughs> That's kind of the the situation here. I'm just getting brutalized. Okay. Dude! Oh my god! Okay. Everything's fine, everything's fine. Get the key. Hey. It seems the items are somewhat randomized. Because I never got a health potion that last time. There's a health potion now. Good, 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 good. Good, good, good. Alright, we're gonna do it. I'm feeling good about this attempt. Yo, Cyber Trucker Alpha, welcome. Yeah, there's no timer. Yeah, it's a nice, relaxing game. However, it's not actually because enemies just constantly spawn in and attack you. <laughs> so there's no reason to dilly dally you don't get any score for killing enemies they haven't been dropping any items at all so you do want to be as quick and efficient as possible here but oh dude okay so in this situation i'm not really sure what to do the man with the bow is a couple lanes up he's on the same lane as the key so if i lane shift like here oh. dude you just get owned everything just crushes you okay where's that bird okay the bird was there heal 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 is this not a healing potion? Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Okay, we got the invincibility potion. Do 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 do. Headless zombies are so cool. God, the enemy designs, the graphics in this are just incredible. Oh, get away, the ghoul! Look at Sir Fred. Where's his chain mail? The box art had him in like baggy oversized chainmail. I guess he's stripped it off. It's too cumbersome, I suppose. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, here we go. Now for the hard part. We're gonna come up here, we're gonna go invincible, and we have to try and kill these, like, freaking death heads. Am I even hitting it? I don't think I can. I think I have to throw daggers at it. What the heck? I'm guessing this is like a boss fight. I can't even hit him! This is jacked! Uh oh. Okay, get, get the bag.
Oh, there's two lanes up here on the top. Oh, I didn't realize there were two lanes up here. Got him. <gasps> key, 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 key. We did it. I don't know why I only had to fight one of them, whereas before he was like splitting into dozens. This is a weird game. Legend. Dude. This is awesome. A brief moment of respite. Sir Fred pauses as he sits on the rock, contemplating the journey that still remains. Now he's in the tomb. I'm gonna try and hit this sparkly do. Apple? Wait, don't go off. Alright, screen one. I don't know where I'm supposed to go from here. I wonder if this. <gasps> no way! Is that an imp riding a dwarf? greatest game ever made. None have ever been better. Sir Fred, where's his shoes? Oh, look at this. The ninjas, the karatekas, they're here. This is only published by Ubisoft. They didn't develop it as far as I can tell, but yeah, it's an Ubisoft game. Oh, got Donkey Kong barrels. What the dude? Is he parrying my sword? Nope, he just takes a million hits. That was the boss. All right, we got the key. Watch out for Donkey Kong. Oh, dude! More Donkey Kong barrels coming. Oh, he's good. He's good. His defense is impenetrable. scrolling what wizards oh my god I need health yeah, 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 yeah. why does it sound like a swarm of bees Oh, 
Oh my god. Oh, wizard. I got sung by a bee. That's why it sounds like swarm of bees, because there were bees there. Alright. Back to the start. Copyright 89 Inkle. This game is incredible. Don't do donuts, welcome. Uh, we're playing as the legendary Sir Fred, who got transformed into a dwarf because he was in love with his girlfriend. That, that's literally the story. <laughs> Did the bees! Oh my god. Like, I'm trying to use these little sparkle things to clear the screen of bees and other demonic entities, but you don't know what plane of the three planes the sparkle dudes are on, so you just have to test each one to see if your knives hit it or they just sailed right by. This is bizarre. Go. Oh no! Is this a th toilet? Is that a toilet? Is that? That's a toilet. It's a toilet. It's a throne with toilet paper. <laughs> oh, dude. Okay. This guy was taking a bath up here, so let's kill him. Oy, oy, oy. I just want this apple. Have I seen Back to the Golden Age? Uh, I'm sure I've seen screenshots of it, but... I don't know. I cannot say any more than that. <laughs> dude, dude. Okay. Alright, we jumped to the Donkey Kong barrel. So there's going to be a boss that we have to kill. Because I never got the key from this screen. There's the boss. Okay, there's the boss. Uh, sir? Would you desist, please? Ah, oh, he's dead. better this attempt. Oh, these guys have a lot of health. I okay, got him. I missed a, missed a potion. Oh, that blue one? I thought we could only do red and brown potions. Oh, interesting. Okay. It's too far. We can't go back now for it. <laughs> I'm afraid we can't go back for it. <sighs> Whoa! Dude, look at these enemies. This is this is great. We need those daggers. to get down to that dagger okay that's not what i wanted to do <laughs> okay get the sack get the sack oh 
Oh my god. How do I... The bee. There we go. Heal. Heal. Okay, full health. Ninja, dude! Oh my... It's so hard to play this game. Am I hitting? I'm not hitting him. I'm too close to hit him, I think. Or maybe I can't stab him in the back. It's dishonorable. Dude, the Donkey Kong barrels and the bees. Okay, get him. <laughs> okay, we got the key. Let's get out of here. Here's the pause screen. This bee is gonna kill me. I gotta deal with him. I can't, I can't, I can't deal with him. Now there's a wizard here. Jump! Oh yes! Okay, go up. Get out of here. Is this the, where's the exit? Oh my goodness, the exit's all the way in the top left, isn't it? Oh no. Okay, I understand now. We have to go to the bottom of the screen to acquire the key and then climb back up to the top to go out the door at the next stage. I died! Try again? <laughs> okay, this game's pretty hard, but it's pretty cool. Can I hit that? Not from here. Why did I start with so much life missing? Maybe it preserves the amount of health I had when I began the stage? Or when I first and Look at this, this... The bee can sting me, but my shots just completely miss? Oh my goodness, this is the hardest game ever made. <laughs> okay, go, 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 go! It's not necessarily the hitbox per se that's screwing me up, it's the fact the B is like constantly plane shifting. But you, there's just no visual way to know that that's what's happening. But it's going, it's like, it's impossible. <laughs> also, the hitboxes are kind of jacked. Okay, got it. Let's go. Rubber Kitty, welcome. Thank you for the 17 month resub. This is Sir Fred the Legend. Tremendous, wonderful tale of hero heroism, bravery, uh, a little bit of romance, a lot of bloodshed and slaughter. We are Surfred. We are questing to get our girlfriend back. Did the ninjas here already? Kill this ninja and get the key. Hey! Oh my goodness. Sir, get out of the wall. Dude. Dude. You can't. You can't. Ow. Avoid the Donkey Kong. <laughs> Jump. Oh, I 
got the naked dwarf. There we go. The Donkey Kong barrel throwers. Dude, there's so many of them. Flying leap. So apparently we can grab this potion here. We have to do some satisfying platforming. Oh my goodness. Blue potion? The blue potions get automatically used when we use a magic lift. down here. You gotta just wait for the right opening. Right, let's go! Go, Sir Fred. I'm almost dead. That's not good. Eh. Now I'm even closer to dead. Oh. <laughs> Stomped on my toes? What the heck? This is the hardest game I've ever played in my life. Alright, let's go. Dodge. Again, there's no benefit, seemingly, to killing enemies whatsoever. Other than they temporarily disappear, but then they just instantly respawn. So, I'm just trying to run through stuff rather than fight my way through stuff, which is probably not a good idea. Like, I probably need to do some sort of combat. Like, how do I... I can't... Uh, sparkle. The bee is giving me the business. See, the sparkle is not in my lane, but I can't lane shift while I'm here, so we're just kind of out of luck. <laughs> oh my god. Sir Fred, okay. We're going, we're going. Let's take this second door. Maybe something new happens. Fred! It's a fake door. This is chaos! How- This is chaos gaming. Kill the bathing man. Get the apple. What hurt me there? Walking into his hat from behind hurt me? Excuse me? There we go. Got a couple good hits in. He just... He just owns you. idea where I'm supposed to use it. Um, I don't know how to grab the blue potion without getting completely destroyed by these jumps, but maybe I can jump on the bed first. <laughs> you see, every time I bonk like that, Sir Fred takes damage. What? Excuse me? Sir Fred? Oh, there's two planes. Okay, the little dresser, ottoman, whatever I'm standing on, has two different planes. So you have to jump onto it, then plane shift back to jump onto this. Dude, this is this is really cool. <laughs> Got 
happen. Oh, we have two Donkey Kong barrel throwers. Hardest game ever made. All right, try again. I don't have a plan to deal with those Donkey Kongs. Donkey's Kong. Go get the key. Man, this B as well. This B is a big problem. Masterfully avoids my attacks. Why does a bee take so many knives? I'm pretty sure throwing a knife and hitting a bee with it would just instantly obliterate the bee. This is Sir Fred. How are you supposed to tell what plane the barrels are on? Well, if they hit you, they're on your plane. If they don't, <laughs> they're on a different one. <laughs> okay, Ninja starts here. Um, I don't think I want the apple yet. I actually waste the apple if I go and pick it up now, so let's not grab it yet. We gotta deal with this Ninja. Maybe I can pull him back here. Ninja? Dude! Oh, we gotta, we gotta confront him. Okay, there's like a perfect critical distance you want to hold on to and maintain. And then you can just stun lock them like that. Alright. That's the secret for the ninja. Get the perfect distance and then just win. Dude, look at the little cherries in the background. What's the stack of cubes? What are those cubes in a stack? Look at the giant melons, the, the jug, a big bowl of dirt. Oh man. Looks delicious. I want to eat the bowl of dirt. Oh, you can knife the barrels. Oh! Uh, I got hurt. For what? This is impossible. I just lost half my health by stabbing that man. Uh, what? Jump on the bed. Alright, satisfying platforming. Up. Uh. No! Oh dear. Uh -huh. Up, over, left, jump. Okay. Let's just walk off. Oh, Sir Fred's dead. <gasps> Sir Fred's not dead. Okay. A Donkey Kong barrel. The jumping is a little... Uh, how do I say? A little bad. <laughs> what? This is like unplayable. You just get hit. Alright, let's try again. 
Oh, Dork Dream, welcome. Welcome to Sir Fred the Legend. We're on a quest to get our very beautiful girlfriend back so we can hold hands with her for hours. We're playing as Sir Fred. Uh, he was a mighty hero and then got turned into a gnome or a dwarf or something. That's the lore. Oh, spider! Oh my god. Can I just jump up here? Of course not, no. This bee is a nightmare. A menace. Oh. What is this guy doing? Lay off, man. Like, look at this. I'm getting hurt by trying to attack this gnome. Look at this. This game's broken. <laughs> I died because I was trying to stab him with my sword. Alright, try again. <laughs> this is... Oh god, this is kind of bad. It's kind of really cool. So we need to use the sparkly dude to just clear the screen and then make a run for it. Let's use the sparkly do. Okay, we use the sparkly do, now we'll make a run for it. Run! No! Don't hit me! Perfect. Ninja's here. Uh, we don't need to heal yet. Okay, we need to heal now, but let's kill the ninja first. Find the perfect critical distance. Got him. <laughs> Sir Fred. All right. Yeah, the frame rate is quite variable, depending on how much stuff is on screen. If there's more than like two sprites on screen, it just slows down to neutral speed. If it's just Sir Fred or like Sir Fred and one enemy, then it's maximum speed. Which is fine. Okay. Now for the platforming. Hoo -ah. Over, left, hua. Okay. Now I don't know how to get down from here without just getting owned. Maybe I go like that? I got owned. As far as I can tell, yeah, Amiga runs. You get unlimited continues. Whenever you die, you just go right back to the start of the stage that you're on. And each stage consists of multiple screens. You gotta make a run for it. <laughs> Two points of damage trying to get off the freaking dresser. Okay, we're gonna have to learn how to do that a little bit better. Okay, there's only one Donkey Kong up here. This is perfect. This is perfect. Only one Donkey Kong holding his barrel in the darkness. Get close. <clears throat> Just go, 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 go! I should just jump over him. Now, I suspect with my blue potion, I can come over here and take this lift straight down. I thought this thing over here on the left was a the exit to the stage, and it might be. Let's see if I can use it as a lift with the potion. Nope, nothing happens. Okay, this is probably the exit then. So we have to learn how to get down to the bottom of the screen 
without getting completely owned with fall damage. Where, where is he? Okay, he's there. The bees are back! Let's get the knife. This game is pretty cool. I still don't really know how to not just get owned by everything, but that's okay. I didn't take damage. Apple! Don't do it, B. <laughs> I asked him not to do it! The B did it anyway. I need this apple! Apple! Okay, good. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do against these bees. Like, they are a huge problem. I guess we just kill them. I guess I'm supposed to just kill it. <laughs> Why does a bee take five knives? Alright, he's dead. Oh my goodness. The master of the bees just unleashed another one. Master of the bees, okay. Here. Get the key. Go. Where's my lift? I need to use a B my lift. Can, is this the lift? Can I lift? Lift? Sir Fred. Pauses upon the rock as he thinks about the journey, the trials he's faced, and what still remains. He gathers his courage. <laughs> and now we have demon dogs. Where are these pigs? Music. Oh no! I can't even tell where anything is. These dogs are like expert dodgers. Okay, we're locked into this room, which means one of these enemies has the, the key, or perhaps they all have the key. Oh, found it. I have two keys! Oh no. an open world? This is sick! Let's go in here. I might be soft lock because I spent my keys inappropriately. Oh, the armory. Okay, another blue potion. Kill these dogs. They are so good at dodging. I 
If I were Surf Red, I would reach back and grab one of those halberds. I would just simply pick up a halberd and use that instead of this puny sword. Dude, this is jacked! I can't hit him. <laughs> what is this? Got him. Okay, we got him. thrower. He's on the, the plane back here. <laughs> Why did I take damage for walking next to him? I didn't even touch him. I just walked oh, too close to him. His aura of death, I guess, hit me. Look at this background! This is so cool! dead. Gotta play it safe here. I would love that apple. Oh my god! Is this a Robocop? Okay, he's dead. Jump! <laughs> Do the platforming. Oh dear. Skeleton! You want some of this skeleton? <laughs> I think this game might be like awesome. Okay, that's probably the exit there. I want to try and grab these apples. There were two apples in this room. I want to try and grab these apples. Uh. Apple. I guess there's one apple. Okay. I forgot how to count. Go down. Oh, he bonks! Okay. Ooh. I sure wish I could grab that red potion of 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 potion. Are these bee mancers? These are beam answers. I'm in serious trouble here. He hit me! Just go. Just go, Fred. Look, I love how these guys are just swinging their dealio as they walk. <laughs> They're just walking back and forth, swinging their mace. It's your own fault if you get in the, get in their way. I have no idea where I'm going. I'm just kind of going into. <gasps> Skeleton! Oh my god! Bad! Okay. Can we just leave? Wait! I thought we could only hold one potion at a time okay i guess the blue ones 
don't count. Interesting. I don't know where this enemy is. Like, where does this guy exist? Does he exist? I can't seem to hit him. Okay, I killed him. Uh, it's the brown and red. You can only have one of the two. But the blue doesn't count towards the total. Okay, okay. Okay, I see. The intricacies of Fred are being revealed. What the heck? Okay, let's try and go up from here. Watch out for the skull bird. No skull bird. Skull bird. of the pillar is just like a little dude just hunched over supporting the pillar on its back like little skulls for the platforms man dude this game is this game's incredible okay we're back at the start so somewhere there's a place I can use my blue potion to get me to the end of the stage. likely that the exit's somewhere on this screen. This is the screen of suspicion. I didn't really expect this to become a maze game, but I guess I should have. <laughs> I should have just known. Skull bats! Where are they? How do I... Okay, got him. The skeleton. but there's nowhere to go. <laughs> uh, huh. Oh, Axe Man! Let's go back in here. Oh, the door to the right! Wait, get, get the red potion. Go in the right door. What is that? Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't know what's happening. The serpent pillars. Okay, okay, okay. Patience. I think that's the exit to the stage, just to the right. Down. Down. Go over. Quaff. Go up. Don't get owned. Fred. 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 Fred's getting owned. I specifically asked him not to get owned. Fred. <laughs> this is a problem, dude. Okay. 
Okay. <laughs> wow. I think we might have beat the stage. Parapets. Uh, if you have a <laughs> the night. Dude. This is sick. So yeah, if you have a blue potion in your possession, then you can activate the magical floating elevator, which is invisible. You just have to press the up button where you think it is, and you'll consume your blue potion and float to the sky. <laughs> Let me fix the camera. That's the, the secret tech of Fred. Do we probably have to kill the plate mail knight? Look at that guy's spear! Oh, it's got like a barb on it. Oh! All right, Sir Fred, steal yourself. Must do battle. Or just run. Apple! Apple! Oh, this is a disaster. This is bad. Okay, got one down. Oh, I already have a key, so let's just go. Is that my girlfriend? What is... Oh, it's a gnome! Evil enchanter! Deceived me! Kill, 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 kill. Okay, I have no idea where to use this key, but I'm in serious danger here. Do we jump out the window now that I have the key? Oh my god. Uh, we gotta- we gotta kill this guy. They just dodge you so easily. Okay, we can do the same though. This way maybe? beast the hell pterodactyl kill it kill the hell ter pterodactyl got it kill him yes 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 ouch kill the hell hell pterodactyl another wizard this is nonsense Got him, got him, got him, got him. <laughs> uh, uh. 
Turn around, Fred. Oh, the glowing jewel! Okay. I need this jewel. The jewel of power. Jump. Jump. What is happening? What? What? Why is it doing this? Stop, Fred. What? Fred? Is... What? <laughs> I guess I beat Sir Fred the Legend. <laughs> What? I'm strongly considering it, Noble Beast. This would be a good emo, yeah, for sure. Thank you for the GGs. I, I guess we beat Sir Fred the Legend. What even just happened? I don't even know what just happened. What just, why is he just standing there in the nude? I guess we grew back to normal size and ripped our shirt and ripped our pants. Where's our girlfriend? There's no like resolution to the story. It's just implied that we're gonna go find our girlfriend and hold hands with her for hours. I guess that's his little helmet on the ground there. Yeah. Why did the armor shrink with him when we shrunk, but they didn't grow with us when we grew? Why do we get seizure-induced full-screen flashing for like 30 seconds after picking up the magic gem when we killed the second sorcerer? We killed one sorcerer earlier, we didn't get a seizure gem, but we killed a second sorcerer after the demon hellfire bat. Sir Fred, this is the greatest game I've ever played in my life. They've never made a better game than Sir Fred. Pack it in, guys. We're, we're never gonna top Sir Fred. It's... It feels like it was just getting going, too. Like, I, I didn't realize it was so short. I did not realize this was so short. The third stage is like as long as stages one and two put together. Oh, they give you enough healing? Dude, that... Good game. Good game. I'm gonna make a save state here. Just in case I want to come back and do some... Uh, how do I save state on this? Save state. Uh. Fred Nude. Perfect. All right, Sir Fred the Legend. Uh, <laughs> there he is.
<laughs> what? What if we just play? <laughs> Why are games so good? Well, um, well, that was really short. Welcome to the stream. That was <laughs> there he is. That was Sir Fred the Legend. Now, fortunately, I planned for this contingency. I had a backup. So seeing as how Sir Fred took just over an hour of gameplay, let's play another game. Let's just launch straight to another adventure. Let's play more video games. Let's play more video games. Um, Sir Fred, step back. You may have to play Sir Fred again in the future because <laughs> that was really fun. Somebody said the world record's only seven minutes. Dude, I, I want to watch that. <laughs> 